We know that the combination of key light and field light establishes exposure. In the last two parts, we have learned about the exposure and field light. And today we are going to learn one of the lighting concept which is the key light. So hey there, this is Chetan and welcome to CRNT Designers. Without further ado, let's get started. Key Lighting Key light is the primary light source in your scene. The strength, color and the angle of your key light is a determining factor to your light design. The key light most often plays in front of your subject at an angle and thus illuminates one section of your subject. Key lighting is based on the use of the field lights or reflectors to expose a subject's shadow side or the sides not exposed by the key light. There are two types of key lighting. First one is the low key lighting. You can see this is the example of the low key lighting. Low key lighting creates harsh shadows and high contrast. You can see this part is in the harsh shadows and this part is in the brightness means highlights. So what does it mean? It creates high contrast. Low key lighting setup is used for the thriller and dramatic effects. So if I switch to the another camera angle in the perspective, so you can see it looks like that dramatic and thriller look. So that is the use of the low key lighting. I can add a small fill light to add more depth and dimension to the scene. Now you can see this part is in the dark. So I can add a small fill light. So I will get a little bit of bright look here and it creates that depth and dimension. You can see the results at here. You can see at this ear. You can see the changes. I'm getting the little bit of brightness and which adds the depth. One thing also you need to understand the ratio of the key light and the fill light. You can see the power of this fill light which is 10 and the power of the key light it is 80. So it means what ratio of the key light to the fill light should be 8 is to 1 or somewhere around that. So this is about the low key light which you can use for the dramatic and thriller effect. Now there is another lighting setup which is the high key lighting. High key lighting is used for the cheerful and upbeat scenes. High key lighting is much softer and brighter compared to the low key lighting. Now I'm going to change this lighting setup to the high key lighting. It's very easy. What do I need to do? So I just need to scale this light. So I can scale it like this. So my shadows will be soft. I can take it little bit back. Okay. And now you can see the results at there. Now I'm getting this softer and brighter look. Just I need to increase its intensity. Now you need to understand important thing that in the high key lighting, the ratio of the key light to the fill light should be 1 is to 1 or somewhere around that. So I can increase the intensity of this fill light. So I'm going to give the intensity somewhere around 80. And now you can see I'm getting that high key lighting setup. If I turn off this fill light, then this will be like a low key lighting setup. And as I turn on this, I'm getting this high key lighting setup because the ratio of the key light to the fill light, it's 1 is to 1. And that's why I'm getting the softer and brighter look. You can switch to the different camera angle also. And you can see here from the perspective angle. You can see it has minimal shadows, low contrast and more highlights. So this is about the high key lighting. And you can use the high key lighting for cheerful and upbeat scenes. Means for the happy scenes. And it is also important when to use this different lighting setup. According to your scene, according to your mood, the message you want to convey to your audience. According to that, you need to use this different lighting setup. Now, the next point is how to manipulate the light. Now we have this high key lighting setup. Okay. And now we want to manipulate this lighting setup. How we can do that? First thing is you can diffuse the light for the softer lighting. If I'm going to hide this fill light and now I have this light at here and its intensity is somewhere around 200. And now I want to diffuse this light. How I can do that? Either I can increase its scale. So I will get less light or more even light. Or another option is I can add a plane and which will be work as a diffuser for me. And I can place this plane in between the monkey and the light. So just scale the plane like this and bring it here. And now I'm going to give them different material to this plane and I'm going to increase its transmission little bit. 
so as i increase the transmission now it is working as a diffuser to diffuse this light and you can see i'm getting this little bit of light at here so if i decrease the transmission i'm getting nothing i'm getting the darkness at here and as i increase the transmission i'm getting that softer light so this thing you can use to diffuse the light so you will get more softer and even light second thing is the bouncing the light and using it bounce the light of a wall or bounce board to create the softer light spread i can take this light as like this and i can rotate it in this way and i can create this angle at here which you can see and now i need to decrease its reflection i will get that bounce effect now just decrease its roughness and increase the metallic value and you can rotate the light like this okay so you can see i have rotated this light and i'm getting the small angle at there to this light so here you can see i'm getting little bit of light at here just because of the bouncing of light how it's work my light source is in the angle and which goes like this and here i have one plane which has reflected material and then light bounce like this to the back side of the monkey and that's why i'm getting the small amount of light at here you can see and if i turn off this plane then i'm not going to get any light at there so just select this plane and turn off it and you can see the results at here i'm not getting any kind of light so this is the small example of the bouncing of light which you can use in the scene the next option to manipulate the light is moving the light further away from the subject as like this or you can take it a little bit close also in this way you can manipulate your light without decreasing its intensity and the fourth option is adjust the angle of the light to achieve the different look so if i take this light if i change the angle of it now it's the 90 degree angle and take it on the top of the monkey so i'm getting the different look at there you can see here if i change the angle something like this and if i move the light here i'm getting the different look then i can change the angle as like this and now you can see i'm getting this horror look now this is like a more cinematic look and that's why i'm getting this highlights as like this i can place the light here in this angle as like a studio light setup just changing the angle of your light you can achieve the different looks so this is the fourth way to manipulate your light source so in this tutorial what we have learned we have learned key light which is the important light source in the scene its different types low key lighting and then high key lighting and then we have learned how to manipulate the light with the four ways so that's it for today thanks for watching if you like this tutorial then hit that like button and subscribe our youtube channel bye bye so next video take care